I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I'm reacting to two more songs from comedy musician friends of mine. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician, which means I react exclusively to comedy music. What that means for you is that I'm going to pause the videos. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes and missing them. I can discuss how the lyrics and video work in tandem to help enhance the comedy. Sometimes I'm analyzing the videos, sometimes I'm summarizing the videos, sometimes I'm explaining jokes, which is always fun for people, and sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're gonna, you're gonna get, but I think it's a good time any of those ways. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool perks. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this week's videos. We have two videos. We have I Like Beige by Robbie Ellis, and I suddenly cannot remember the name of the song by Mark with a C, uh, but we'll get to that shortly. Uh, Robbie Ellis uh, is uh, a friend of mine here in Chicago, actually, uh, although he's not from here, he's from New Zealand, uh, and uh, moved here, does comedy music, very funny guy, uh, hosts uh, classical music on a, a local uh, radio station here in Chicago as well. Um, uh, and is an amazing musical talent. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Robbie's stuff, get familiar with Robbie's stuff, because his stuff is incredible. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a song that came out a couple months ago, actually, uh, called I Like Beige. And it's a, it's a short one, um, but it's not as short as a short, so I'm reacting to it. Let's dive in. I like beige. I like neutrals, this is who I am. This describes all my clothing, <laughs> neutral is my jam. Like, yes, it is mundane. Uh, subject matter in comedy songs can be any variety of things. Uh, even, like, you know, while a lot of the stuff that I react to on this particular show tends to skew into the nerdy realm, uh, there are also things that are like, here is a basic thing, beige, which, by the way, uh, as, as my wife says, beige is the most popular food group in uh, St. Louis, where she's from. Uh, beige is the most popular food group in St. Louis. I am having words troubles today. Sorry, guys. I'm still dealing with kidney stone pain. So, yeah. It's been over a month. Hooray. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I love the three-part harmony in this so far. Uh, Robbie, like I said, is an amazing musician and an amazing performer. And and the, the three-part harmony with himself in this... Uh, for for such a mundane topic, is is a good dichotomy to have, you know. I like cream. <laughs> I like eggshell beige from head to feet. But 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 cloud cream and and, and eggshell are more whites than beiges. But uh, you know. Not quite white, more off-white. I, I am hitting the H there a lot. Uh, but yeah, uh, more, more, more off-white than white. Cream and eggshell. Not quite beige, not quite white. There's a... There's a, another joke there somewhere about people, I'm sure, that we'll, we'll move past. And I dress my twin children <laughs> to look clean and neat. 
I love that, yes, this is using a lot of stock footage in the video, too, but uh, the disturbing idea of twin children dressed in beige and off-white uh, and also matching their parent dressed in beige and off-white. You know what, if you saw that wandering toward you uh, on the street, it might be a little off-putting, might be a little disturbing. Honestly, all of the games from... All, all of the video games from the late 90s, early 2000s, and the PS2 era uh, were just all a variety of shades of brown. There wasn't a lot of color variety in the, in the graphics and in the backgrounds. So, uh, I don't know why I'm suddenly reminded of that. Ivory and vanilla alabaster too of white shades <laughs> make me feel good biscuits and a crew we're almost getting to the point where it's like the section from stupendium's uh room for improvement uh where he they're going through the all the the different weird sounding colors uh and uh but these are all weird sounding colors that are uh variances of bland um i also like that there there is actually no music that has come into this song we are a minute into a minute and 40 song and it it there is absolutely zero uh <laughs> instrumentation at all. It's just vocals. Also, I just had a Discord noise and I thought I closed Discord, so if that winds up on the recording, hooray! My two twins both look perfect They won't be outdone First we dress in neutral colors Then we can have Oh, all the beige balloons. Jeebus Christ. Uh, this... There is something about this that is... Because of the three-part harmony, no instrumentation, weird subject, uh, it, it gets slightly into that... If it had instrumentation, you would expect it to be like Calliope circus music. Because it's starting to get into that kind of weird, kind of chill down your spine kind of eerie. Uh, or at least it is for me. Uh, but uh, that in and of itself is funny to me. Fun, 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 <laughs> fun. Having fun is nice. Sure. Fun, 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 fun. We have fun, it's nice. Just <laughs> without instrumentation, that sells the joke more. So I take back what I said about the Calliope music just a second ago. Uh, yeah, no, the, the song being disturbing by having no instrumentation, just the three-part harmony, just the the really pushing of bland is fun to me, beige and off-whites, this is what brings me joy. Uh, comedy is really the only uh, genre you can do that kind of thing in. I love and appreciate that. And I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh... <laughs> Shortened to the point, I think. Uh, up next is Facing the Globe by Mark with the C. Uh, Mark with the C is a lo-fi, uh, wouldn't say folk musician, but a lo-fi musician out of uh, uh, Florida. Uh, Mark has uh, done, I mean, does a lot of rock stuff, does a lot of acoustic stuff, does a lot of uh, home-produced stuff. Um, there's a, a, an incredible documentary about them now, uh, and uh, I've known Mark for several years since Nerdapalooza, when that 
was a thing uh, back in Orlando, Florida, was where I met them originally, and uh, they've been doing music for a very long time now, and uh, a ca not everything they do is funny, not everything they do is comedic, but there are still occasionally some comedic songs, and Mark actually reached out to me and asked me to react to this song several months ago, so I'm sorry it's taken me this long to get to it, Mark, but I've finally gotten to it. So let's check out Facing the Globe by Mark with a C. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, number one, let's see if we can get some captions on this because uh, it's uh, uh, mixed a little low. Um, but uh, yeah, the the skin on my goddamn face. Uh, yeah, what? Let's let's take it back here a couple seconds. When I need to see Uruguay, when I need to see Uruguay, I met with a skin, I meant with the skin on my goddamn face. The, the captions don't quite capture it there, so uh, they may be auto-generated. I meant with the skin on my goddamn face. When I want to see it, I meant with, by being there, not by just seeing it in pictures or from an aerial view. All right, okay, I, I, I see what we're meaning here now. Well, I'm laughing now. That's, that's who's laughing now. Because I glued my face to this fucking globe again. All right, yeah. Now, you know, okay, I thought it was a literal thing by being there, but no, I meant by with my actual skin. Okay, great. <laughs> the uh, the captions are having trouble catching all of this. It just says music. Uh, so <laughs> let's take it back and see if we can try to catch some of this. All right, there's a, there's a, because of the lo-fi nature, some of the lyrics are getting a little hard for me to hear, so I'm going to grab my phone and see if I can pull up the lyrics. Ow, I banged my knee. Okay. Yeah. I went to school for as many years as it took to trick the teacher. I went to the, the four years it took and buying globes is easier. All right. <laughs> Who needs brains when I glued my face to this fucking globe again? Uh, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is about seeing the whole world by being the whole world. Why not? Uh, I, I absolutely... Like, the, the title of the song is a pun now. Facing the globe. I get it. Uh, that's great. I love that. That is, it is, it's silly and, and just goofy fun. I, I love goofy fun. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this show. The music is, of course, great as always with Mark's stuff. 
Uh, the video is surrealistic and trippy. Uh, I don't know how much the, the, the visuals really are uh, in line with the, the lyrics, but uh, honestly, with a song about gluing your face to a globe, surrealistic kind of works. <laughs> I wore my apple bottom jeans to the airport one fine day. I bought myself a one-way ticket to get off that damn plane. Apple bottom jeans. But no mention of the boots with the fur. I'm I'm sad. Not really. And something that be cheaper or better for my facial skin. There's no room for a facial or boot my face to the smoking globe again. There's no room for a facial... And something that'd be cheaper or better for my facial skin, there's no room for a facial, I gl glued my face to this fucking globe again. Now, I initially was picturing this as... And I shouldn't have been, because I, I realized it in the first lyric that, you know, when Mark said, you know, want to see Uruguay with my face being there... Uh, gluing it to a globe, I'm just picturing a globe, like like a thing, like an item you have in your home that you look at all the places on. You know, from the opening of the, the Toto's Africa video, the globe that's spinning and they stop on Africa, uh, which I also recreate in my parody covering Africa, uh, which is available here on this channel. Yes, shameless plug for my own stuff. Uh, but, uh, no, I think this now means especially because of that line in the first verse, uh, when I said I see, need to see Uruguay, I meant with the skin on my goddamn face. Meaning, specifically, Mark is going to these places, taking skin from his face and leaving it glued to the globe that is the Earth. The actual Earth globe. Uh, not, not the representation of globes you can buy at Walmart. Uh, yeah, that's what he what what it, what Mark means with this um that's a neat thing too uh, <laughs> just go into different places to see the world to see the sights and gluing parts of your face to to the planet facing the globe puns That's... My daddy always told me something, something, something truck. But please, and I agree, but please grab the acetone, I'm stuck. So not even taking pieces off your face. They're going to these places and just gluing their face to the globe. Like, just gluing their face to the earth, not detaching parts and leaving it there, just going across the planet, gluing your face to the earth. Sometimes comedy song subjects don't need to make sense. Sometimes they're just funny for being ridiculous or out there or outlandish and, you know, uh, there's a certain Dadaist type of humor that that can be associated with with things that don't make sense or things that are just you know uh, I'm scrambling for for words here because I, I use the word Dadaist to sound like I knew what I was talking about and for a second there I thought I did and then my brain shut down and all the words went away uh, but no it's you know there's a lot of silliness and there's a lot of uh, nonsensical things in comedy music as well as just standard jokes and I think we're going for a lot of silly and nonsensical stuff here in in so much as why would you do this why would you glue your face to the fucking planet um, but this is what their wish is so why not let them live out their best life G 
gluing their face to the planet. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to make sense. It's just a funny concept, and thereby a comedy song. I dig it. Music foreign. Thanks, subtitles. I married me a rich man, a McNally kind of guy. Old Rand helped me get where I am, but he left and I can't cry. Rand McNally is a publishing company known for making maps. Oh. Uh, just that line sounds painful. There's super glue in my tear ducts and an ocean in my eyes. I had to fix a statue not long ago that had broken, and I used super glue, and I accidentally got a little bit, a little bit, on my fingertips, uh, between my thumb and index finger, and it took like four days for that super glue to come off. I, I didn't get them stuck together, thankfully, but just trying to, I didn't have any acetone, just trying to get it off my hand took days. So getting that in your eyes, number one, that's awful, and like, I gluing your eyes shut or even open is just a horrible visual. Uh, but then also getting salt water into that. Gah, here I am taking things literal in a comedy song again. I don't know what my problem is. Uh, maybe it's the world around me that's exploding that makes me want to do that, but uh, be that as it may, uh, uh, it's what I've done the past two episodes of this show. Uh, it's a silly concept. I should just appreciate it for being silly. Uh, we're going to take it back a little bit here. <laughs> Abandoning the rhyme. Uh, there's a super glue on my tear ducts and an ocean in my eyes, and then I smile as I smile as I realize, which also which it rhymes with eyes. I glued my face to this fucking globe again. Just you know, the rhyme was, happens in the middle of the 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 last line, and then we're back to what the the normal rhymes or how the verses had ended previously are. <laughs> If you missed it, uh, he, Mark said, Look, y'all are lucky I'm even bothering to try to sing this damn song. You know how hard it is to wedge a mic in here? So yes, literally just gluing their head to the planet, not cutting off pieces. We've got that confirmation in that lyric now. Whew, weird song. But, but I like weird, man. Obviously. Now I'm old and married to a lady named Miss Earth. Well, that's what I named my globe. I even checked the Bible first. I think it's interesting that, that we call it Earth and the Bible calls it Earth, but in all science fiction, every, all science fiction, universally, not just Trek or anything, but they reve they call Earth Terra. Or, te you know, people who are from te Terra are Terrans. Uh... It's just a weird science fiction thing that I've always noticed and think is odd. Some folks think I'm the devil, but King James said it ain't a sin. That I'm stuck real close to mobile on this fucking globe again. <laughs> Some folks think I'm the devil, but King James, King James said it ain't a sin. That I'm stuck real close to mobile on this fucking globe again. Bravo. Uh, I don't know if means stuck close to Mobile, Alabama, or or uh, that's Mobile, not Mobile, but Mobile as in almost able to move. Uh, but yeah, uh, I love how the, the captions bleep the fucking in there. Uh, that's a weird song, uh, but it is definitely a funny song, just because the concept alone of somebody going around to visit 
places that they've always wanted to see and gluing their face to those places. Only, only in comedy music will you get concepts like this. That's incredible. I love it. And, uh, uh, yeah, I hope you did, too. If you liked these videos, please show these original artists some love. The links to their original videos, without me yammering all over them, are in the description box below. If you liked this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you want to really help the channel out, like these folks over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool perks like that. Uh, thank you for indulging me this week for showcasing some songs from friends of mine. Next week, we'll be going with some more well-known artists, but these artists should be well-known to you. Anyway, that's all for this week. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye.